Hey, what's happening, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and I'm here with uh, some last-minute predictions for tomorrow's Apple Fall Media event happening on September 1st out here in San Francisco, California. Uh, good news and bad news. Bad news is, as of right now, we don't have a press pass. Uh, trying some last-minute 11th-hour stuff to get one, but uh, as of right now, we have not been invited to the big show, which is, you know, who knows? Apple, very mysterious how they do things. We uh, were in attendance last year, the fall event, in attendance for the iPhone 4 launch most recently. Not tomorrow. Good news is they'll be live streaming it. So in addition to our own uh, phone dog live blog coverage, which, uh, you know, now that they're, well, in addition to that, now Apple will be live streaming the event via uh, their website, so you can just watch the video as it happens, which is cool because that means I can focus on making stupid jokes and uh, insightful analysis instead of, you know, just uh, trying to keep up with reporting everything. Well, I'll do a little bit of both. Anyway, you can check out our coverage on phonedog.com, some special coverage on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash phonedog. Uh, I will probably be doing some live chat either during or after the event. And then you can also watch the live stream, like I said, on Apple's site. It all starts at 10 a.m. Pacific time. That is 11, 12, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. See, I added three hours. Time zone change. One, two, three. 1 p.m. on the East Coast on uh, Wednesday, September 1st. Now, getting down to business, what do I think is going to happen tomorrow? A uh, few things. Looks like we're going to have re uh, revamped iPod Touches. The fall event is usually for uh, music stuff, and the invites that went out had a, a guitar with an Apple logo where the sound hole usually is. I'm putting my belly like it's a sound hole. It is, but it's a bass, believe me. Um, so iPod Touches uh, revamped, most likely following the iPhone 4 design. Uh, probably, possibly, probably with a larger display. Hopefully, the Retina display. Hopefully, if you're an Apple fan, with the uh, Retina display that's on the iPhone 4, the Retina display, that high res display, three and a half inches, uh, and also with a front facing camera for FaceTime video chat uh, via email address as opposed to uh, phone number. So, that's one of the big rumors expecting some kind of revamped iPod Touch. Possibly. Uh, revamped iPod Nano with a touch screen, kind of a, something that sort of combines the form factor of the Nano and the Shuffle uh, into one with a touch screen. There have been some uh, like 1.7 inch touch screen rumors floating around for a while now, and uh, looks like that might come out tomorrow an iPod Nano with a 1.7 inch touch screen. And then uh, the big one, actually, the one that's getting the most, uh, and then of course, you know, revamped iTunes, iTunes software, because they always do that. But the, the rumor that's getting the most uh, play in the business world right now is this new uh, revamped Apple TV product, possibly to be called iTV, that'll have a much lower price point. The current Apple TV hasn't really been a big seller. Uh, I actually have one. I picked one up used for cheap just because I was curious, and I use it mostly as an iTunes server, and then I manually put on it to watch. Um, but you can use it to get on you know, YouTube and obviously the Apple iTunes store to, to uh, purchase and download video content as well as music, podcasts, that kind of stuff. The rumor now, the, the price point going to come way down, possibly to $99, and that uh, Apple is going to announce a partnership with Netflix. So they'll be serving up Netflix content if you're a Netflix subscriber, which is something that virtually all the connected TV services have now, but I, uh, Apple TV doesn't. Uh, also... Uh, very strong rumors, lots of reports uh, at the 11th hour here that they will be dropping the price, Apple will be dropping the price on TV shows. Uh, it'll be a rental model now, 99 cent rentals. Uh, looks like ABC is on board, Fox is on board, but uh, a little sketchy, not all the Fox programs. Uh, apparently Rupert Murdoch, who owns Fox, wants some help uh, trying to revamp his newspaper business, you know, on the iPad, and so some, you know, backroom handshaking, so these deals happen. So, you know, help us with the iPad, we'll, we'll give you some uh, 99 cent shows to, to rent over iTunes. So Fox may be on board, but not with all of their content. Uh, ABC on board, which makes sense, because the whole Apple, Disney, Steve Jobs connection there. Uh, possibly some other studios as well. Uh, so that's the big news. Again, a uh, new TV product, possibly called ITV, $99, um, Netflix, ABC, uh, Fox, maybe some other content, 99 cent TV show rentals. Uh, and then, you know, rental, buy, who cares, TV show, how many times are you going to watch it, right? Renting it, watching it once, that's all you really need. Uh, new iPod Touch, uh, probably designed after the iPhone 4, higher res display, uh, video camera for uh, FaceTime video chatting, uh, maybe dual camera as well, not sure. Uh, not sure about any of this, just give me my predictions. And the uh, new iPod Nano with a touchscreen, kind of a smaller squarish design with a touchscreen. Uh, possibly it may look you know, vaguely like the, uh, the first generation iPod shuffles, those kind of square rectangular ones. 
Uh, and then, of course, new Apple, or rather, new iTunes software. That's what we're looking at right now. You never know. That's why, you know, everybody pays attention to these Apple things. Well, that and the fact that their stock's worth like $8 gazillion a share. Anyway, there you go. Like I said, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 11, 12, 1 p.m. Eastern time with the three-hour time zone change from San Francisco. We'll be covering it. If I, you know, if at the last second I can get a press pass, I will be there live. If not... I'll be live blogging with my special, you know, uh, wit, my special wit. Uh, but, of course, the event will be live streamed as well via Apple. So check it out, phonedog.com and our Facebook page for all your coverage. Uh, we'll see you then. And, you know, also uh, chime in with your predictions, you know, before beforehand or, you know, come back after the event and put out all the, all the predictions that I got wrong. And, uh, you know, we'll have some fun that way. All right? Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>